the takeover. Okay, let's get it. Did we start? Yeah, we did. That's how I stop. Takeover. We're live. We're live right now? We're live. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Takeover. And we're here live at Flashback off of Melrose in Hollywood, California. California. They said that weird? A little bit. I did say that a little bit weird. Um, you know, this month we're shooting late shows. We're shooting on Sunday night. And uh, it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. If you're watching this and you're a mother and it's Wednesday after Mother's Day, thank you for watching. That would be really weird if I had a lot of mothers watching. But to be honest, I only have... Um, one mother that watches, but I actually think she doesn't even watch. I think she listens. I think she listens to the podcast. I don't think she watches, although she should. She should see the handsome faces. So we're this is our first episode live on on Twitch. Yes, we're live we're, on Twitch. We're live on Twitch. Is there a way to send the link? Could I put the link on to our Reddit page too? I mean, all two people that are on the Reddit page. Yeah, but whatever. It's just it's just creating habits. Life is about creating habits. And then you get consistent. I'll get you that link in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. No ASAP. rush. Are you worried right now? About what? Get I don't a know. shot? No. About I'm good. Earthquakes and sounds and stuff? No. I don't think we have any earthquake or dancing going if there on. Was, if there was an earthquake, would the podcast pick it up? Do you think we would shake? Not at all. Have you ever seen earthquake footage on like TV shows and newscasts? Like, it's barely it, you, you don't know it. And in fact, like you, the cameras are usually on a little shaky, yeah. like a little shaky. And it's the host just freaking out. Yeah. I mean, I, I was there's footage of me on stage at the Laugh Factory during an earthquake two years ago. It was pretty cool. It was that like your most viral moment. It only has like 700 views. No, I have more. Um, I have more. I have other things really going on, to be honest, like other videos that have hit 10,000. So I'm doing pretty well. I'm actually really big. I'm not panicking or anything. This episode is going to be great. It's going to be great because we're going to put ourselves in a good mood. Oh, my God. We messed up. Do you need the dry erase board? I mean, I'll have take you, it. You, you've never seen the screen. <laughs> Nobody actually knows. This. Yeah. Let's just go to the side here. I'll stay out of frame. All right. Listen, Mark, we got a big week ahead of us. Uh, so Mother's Day, uh, I got some mother stories, mother stories, stories that are mothers. Before I bring our our uh, our guest, we have one guest this week and then we have a returning co-host, right? Because our co-host is obviously Graham Rogers now because Amir Kabiri was fired. He wasn't fired. He was replaced. He lost. He lost. And that's the that's the takeover. Basically, basically. who's going to take over the co-host? All right. Um, And. Hopefully, our guest this week will bring it. And um, just a quick reminder, join the Patreon, patreon.com slash the takeover. I could make my producer put a link up here, but he probably won't. No, I'll do it. You I'll don't. Do it. It's very easy if you have it already I saved. I have been doing it. You have? Yeah. I literally put it over your face just to mess with you. You know what's funny, though? I saw that once, but you know what was also funny? A couple weeks ago, I go, you're going to cut this part out, right? And you never did. And uh -huh. I was just like, I go, you're going to cut this part out, right? And then it was like, I was watching that part. I was like, this motherfucker forgot. Um, jo join the Patreon. Uh, it's patreon.com slash the takeover. And the best part about the Patreon is if you are a, uh, if you are at the selected tier, which is, which is what? A goat. If you're a goat, you can talk to me on the discord right now. This is the discord. Have you figured out the discord? You, me and you are the only two comments in it right now. Yeah, I'm. I'm still figuring out because I've got to log into you to kind of open it up and. Like, but you figured it out, or, or you don't know? Because I saw your comment and then I said hi, but well, you didn't respond. I'm in it personally, but like, yeah, because the Patreon is connected to your account. Like, I need to figure out a way because, like, I need to be in your Discord, or you need to make me a but, moderator. Yeah, I, I. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. We're we're still trying to figure out the Discord, but I thought that. You would for sure – like if somebody's on the Patreon and they're joined and they're the, one of the GOAT tiers, not the team player one, if they're in there, are they able to just get into the Discord? Is it connected correctly or you're not sure? I don't know because in order to test it, I have to pay. And frankly, I'm for free on the Patreon. <laughs> how do we – how do you – I'm going to work on streamlining that this week. How do I get you onto the Patreon without paying then? 
that's there's that's, no way that's the brilliant part is I've got to figure that out. I guess I'll be a, I'll become a goat. Subscriber. But you have the Patreon. I have the login, login, but I'm logged in as you. So you see what I'm seeing. You're like, yes. I don't know if this is working. I can't subscribe to you as you. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, listen, if you guys are a part of the Patreon, I need you guys to tell us if you could get on the Discord because we want to talk to you, right? I mean, listen, there's team players, there's all-stars, all and then we have goats. And there's only 99 spots left to be a goat. We only allow we only allow a hundred. You're only gonna allow a hundred people to get dating advice from you. No, no, no. That's the Discord. Discord just to be on the Discord. Yeah, but aren't you gonna like do their dating profiles? Well, listen. Maybe we'll change the limit if we get close to it. But right now we have ninety nine more to go. So get on it. Yeah, we will. I mean, you guys got to get on it. Um, so that's the Patreon, and then also make sure you check out the Comedy Showcase app. On any of your app uh, stores on your phone, Comedy Showcase app, Showcases Comics, uh, there's new bits on there every week. And you could subscribe to individual comedians, and the money goes back to them. So that's the best part. Also, we got candy today for the guests because we're going to tease them with it and stuff. I was going to ask a question, but I'm going to wait to just see it. I don't want you to give up the bit to me. Do you think that this is by far the most awkward episode we've ever done? A little bit. Because it's like we have an inside joke that we can't tell anyone. Yeah. It's like, oh, wait, here's what we're going to say. We have a secret and we can't tell you. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll dance around a little bit. Just yeah. A, just a little bit. We normally are in this building alone. Yes. Okay, fine. We are normally in this building alone, and, and today it is Mother's like Day. A dance studio. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. But but we got to be real. I got to I got to do an episode. I got to put out an episode. Yeah, absolutely. I I, I want to riff up top and, and get uh, oh can, oh this is another thing I want to do. We got a clip. Can we clip restaurant reviews? I'm gonna I got more reviews this week. All right, from that restaurant. Because awesome. I'm going to keep them coming. And I'm going to go back there and have brunch there. Again, I'm not going to tell you the restaurant because I don't want to hate on it. Because I actually enjoy that these owners are crazy. These are crazy French owners. And they are over the top rude to all of their guests. And I mean customers. And it's awesome. And the the reviews are – there's infinity amount of reviews. It's free comedy and it still has you. And it still has four four-star review restaurant, which is crazy. It's free comedy for you. Of so, course you like it. Yes. And I want to, but I want to actually witness the restaurant, the, the owners go crazy on someone, but I still have more restaurant reviews. But even after I run out of reviews from this restaurant, I still want to clip restaurant reviews. I just want to do a whole segment on restaurant reviews. Why not? We could do multiple clips because I'm not also because story for the week. I'm not clipping that for this time period for this month right now because we're experimenting with our new guest. But uh, obviously we will get into dating questions in a second, um, did you have anything you wanted me to riff on? Any topics? Anything going on in the world that we need to talk about that is important to you? Is there anything going on? Dogecoin people got, got, people, got hit with a bat but, last night. But it's, it's but then it's, it's now it's leveled out at fifty, which is even higher than it's ever was leveled out. So now it's gonna you just gotta make money during the spikes. All right. Well, let's talk about. I I, I sent you a text today. Yeah. And I showed you. Yeah, you the did. Breakdown. Yes. Of the Dogecoin wallet addresses. Yes. Sure. And and um, it's twenty two percent. Because the great thing about person. cryptocurrency is a public ledger. You can see the wallet. You can see how much it has. You can see when money goes in and out, what time, where. Yeah. But you don't know who it's going to. Yeah. You just know it exists. You sure. see, you see a, a a pile of gold. You can't touch it. You don't know whose it is, but it's there. Yeah. So. One address has 28% of the entire supply. It's not that much, but yeah. 28% means there's 72% of so, us. So, I mean, roughly, that means that Doge is worth $100 billion? Yes. No, it's $70 billion. Sure. And he has $20 billion. Sure. But this man also, had, like, it used to be fractions But he's fraction obviously just leaving it in. Oh, he's not doing something. Put yourself in his shoes. Well, let, we're, we're talking about Elon Musk here. It's probably him. Put, put yourself in his shoes. 
Would you rug pull? No, he doesn't. You don't care. Cause that, that's, that they have so much money, it doesn't matter to them. They're just fucking playing with it. It's obviously Elon Musk. It's obviously. If he's that, if he's able to manipulate it that much from a tweet, then he's benefiting the most from it. Why would it not be him? But it, like, and also the reason I know like the, third the reason richest I know they man have in the world like twenty. But that's billion. who could, that's who could do this. Who could have the but, reason why? Here also the reason why they haven't pulled the rug because if someone pulled twenty eight percent out of Doge, you would see it drop down back down to like seven cents. It only drops 10, 15 cents when it goes. It spikes and then it's only dropped. So every time it's rise past. Like the first time it went to 42 cents, everybody was freaking out. Then it crashed down to 24. Then it stayed at 31 for a while. Then all of a sudden last week, it shot back up to 50, went all the way up to 70, then crashed down to 48. And now it's just been staying at 55 for the last two days. So it's like, it's like now it's going to stay at 50, 50 cents for like the next three weeks until something else gets it going. Right. So it keeps still, if you keep, if you kept your money in it the whole time, you're still, everybody's still profiting. But here's the thing is like yeah. your entire knowledge of Doge and its price action only exists past one cent. Yeah. So this guy who owns 28% of the entire yeah. monetary system of Doge, he got in when it was hundreds of thousands of a cent. Probably, yeah. So he he may have only spent like five thousand dollars. Huh. Well, why would he ever pull the rug? He should just chill. Because he might have he might be a guy like you or me and was like, ha, this is a lol, I'm gonna throw a bunch of money into this stupid doge coin. And then all of a sudden he because remember, you don't get the money until you cash out. Your yeah, stock might be amazing, but until you cash out, you don't have that money. Yeah, I cash so, out all the time. So yeah. now all of a sudden He's got twenty billion, and he goes, "Okay, I can't sell twenty billion, but if I knocked it down to like twenty five cents a share and I sold at that, I might be able to fill all those market shares." Uh huh. So he can literally pull the rug out from every Doge bro. I guess I don't know, but I, I still have money in it. The, what's the point? The point is, you still leave your money in it. We're all at a profit. I can't lose money, is what I'm saying. It's on playing money. Okay. I'm only losing profit. So okay. what's the point? But here's the Who thing. Who cares? Is that like alts typically lose 98% of its value when the bubble pops. Uh-huh. If not all. I have Ethereum Classic too now. Nine. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> it hurts my soul. Uh, I'm going to educate you one day. No, bro. I'm going to educate you. And I'm like, I'm making money, dude. <laughs> I'm going to sit down I'm paying and, bills. and just, and just point out like, this is a pyramid scheme. <laughs> I'm paying, I'm dude, I'm paying bills. All right, whatever. Let's go. Uh, they are pulling up. We got it. Let's get to a dating detective. <laughs> So, our first person is waiting five days to call or text too long. Long story short, beautiful girl came to my job and would flirt with me. She even introduced her friends from back home. I finally asked for her number, and she immediately put it in my phone. I waited five days to call her, and she asked, Sorry, who's this? Yeah, of course. Told, told her, hey, it's me from the restaurant. No reply. First of all, you're an idiot. Listen, if a girl gives you her number, get it going right away. There's no like childish rule of like, should I wait two days to make her think? No, not when you're like exchanging, exchanging a number, especially at a restaurant. It's different if it's like someone you know and you're going to see all the time, right? If I know the person and I get her number, maybe if you want to wait a day or two, fine. But if it's someone you met out at a bar or at a restaurant and it's someone you don't have no idea who, who they are and they're a stranger, you got to text right away. You got to get the rapport going. You got to be like, hey, what's up? It's me for the restaurant. Get a couple flirty lines going. Get some rapport going. And then maybe you could follow up a couple days later and be like, yo, let's grab dinner or a coffee. Or drink this week, right? You got to keep it going. You waited five days? Bro, you deserve to lose. You don't even fucking know how to play the game. You don't even deserve to be in the game. As a matter of fact, you sh you shouldn't ever be able to... I'm, I'm glad that happened to you. Five days? 
He like completely missed the opportunity to be slick enough to like literally text her right in front of her and just be like, "Hey, checking in, what's up?" Yeah, like there's so many fun things to do with you. I, I, you, that's that's insane to wait five days to text a stranger, not someone you know. Like I'm like I, I'm literally I I would never do it at all, but I'm I, I would think it's okay if it's like someone you you knew like if it was like hey oh i see this girl all the time we know each other we're we're, cre- we're friends we're, we're cordial and then i got her number and then i t- text her three days later i'm like yo what are you up to this weekend that's different but if you don't know the person you got to text right away and get that going guys don't fucking wait to text there's no games also at the end of the day with texting oh when should i or should i wait to respond all that shit that people play do what you feel like doing there's no right answer. It's just be like, I feel like if someone's not vibing with you because you text too soon or you text too much when you first just met, then then they're not for you. They're not for you. It will it will mesh and clash well if it's meant to be. Ultimately, at the end. All right, I'm a I'm a hot girl at a bar. Yeah. And I came up and take your phone, put my number in your phone. What are you doing right now? You, what do you what are you te- like, what are you texting like on the spot? I go. It's me, the one. Okay. My go-to, I'd say, hey, made reservations at such and such. Yeah, and that's why she doesn't text you back. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one more, or should we just bring in our guest? Uh, we have one We got more. one more, but this one's pretty long, right? Uh, let's see what we got here. So I'm male, 25. I find myself being able to date due to being uncomfortable with the sexual past of partners. What should I do? Where should I go from here? This... Uh, I never really put forth much effort into dating because of constant rejection and poor self-esteem. After becoming more self-aware, I decided to start making changes in my life to better myself and my circumstances. I started eating healthier, exercising six days a week, started CBT therapy. I consider myself a a very improved person mentally, social, physically, and spiritually. I started dating my first girlfriend about a year ago, but broke things off with her after learning about her sexual past. From there, I've learned that it's hard for me to date because I'm very uncomfortable talking about a potential partner's past. I mean, this person's got their own problems already. Absolutely. Also, I mean, we don't even have to. I mean, listen, basically the rundown of this is I can't date because I don't like my partner's past, which is like such a 20 year old thing. Right. Did you ever care about it when you were 20 about a, a, a partner's past? Like if you dated a girl and she was like, I slept with 10, 15 guys or something like that. Would you be like, what? Can I be like absolutely honest here? It bothered me a little bit when I was 20, but not anymore. Like I never bothered like this is going to sound really terrible. Yeah. Cuz like I was well, always fine person. for someone to open the door for me so that that girl would be down to do whatever other things. Yeah. So it so it didn't bother you. Never no, bothered no, you. No, no, no. Cuz if a girl like you have if, like If you knew a girl had a lot had a of partners. Like, oh, I don't like going down on guys like No, but if you had a girl who had a lot of partners that that, that never bothered you. Yeah, I I could I could understand that bothering you when you're younger, but like, listen, that's so dumb. Like, that's your own insecurities. That's because you in your head have grew up in a society where you you were you learned something. It might be Catholic guilt, and you're like, this is how things are supposed to be. The older you get, you realize that nothing is the way it's supposed to be. Nothing goes down. Are you laughing at the situation? A, yes. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm dying. You're freaking like, out. I'm oh. I'm not freaking out at all. We're totally good. We don't know. We'll find out. No. But either way, the episode will be fine, even if you can hear people tap dancing. But the, the point is, it is this. Dist- I would be freaking out. Yeah. Well, the old mics. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, you can't get upset about someone's past. I mean, it's literally you got to let go because that's not fair because you don't know what someone went through. You don't know. It's, it's in your life. You might be annoyed about uh, a past because the way you were raised and the way you grew up, you look at, you value it more or less because of your personal experiences, but not everybody has lived that way. So you can't ever hold on to something like that. I think it's very important. And if you do, you're never going to have a healthy relationship or you're just going to always be nitpicking when you meet someone. It's just like you could be passing up an opportunity with someone unbelievably great because of something so stupid that you're holding on to. But uh, guys, keep submitting your questions to the Takeover Pod on Instagram. Just DM me. DM me questions. Also, restaurant reviews we'll get to later on in this episode. But if you have restaurant reviews that are hilarious, DM them to the Takeover Pod. Uh, if you have dating questions, 
for the dating detective dm him to the takeover pod follow the takeover pod on instagram that's where we post the clips and or uh or you could email the takeover with michael Inochi at gmail.com but that's where you can hit us up make sure you subscribe to the youtube page leave a five-star review if you're listening that helps please tell a friend we appreciate you and that being said let's get to our guest this week here we go wait Dude, I- um so, so we, we're just started already? We're going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, well, yeah okay. we're already halfway through the podcast. What's up? Thank you guys. Coming to the takeover so, pod. So oh, you, whoa. He's he, already ready. Did you give him a heads people, up about what this is about? Yeah. A little yeah, bit? Yeah, a little bit. No, he didn't. But he don't know, though. He doesn't know? He doesn't he know. He didn't tell me anything. Exactly. Which is telling you everything. But you don't really know anything about the podcast. Just no, that it's at the I, studio. I watched a clip uh, just because some homies were on it. but Yeah, just uh, but you don't know. Okay. Well, it's actually a relatively new theme, but you have a chance of becoming... The regular co-host okay, of the podcast. Cool. Yeah, we have to battle. Did you know that? I genuinely didn't know that. Okay, but you have a chance if you could beat out uh, Graham. It's called the takeover. It was Amir for four weeks, and he lost. Gra- I had great. I have Graham. So this is like brand brand new. What? You haven't had anybody good yet. No, no. I mean, I I flipped around. I I didn't have any co-host, but then I've had I've had different guests. I I when I first started the podcast here, it's okay. Pick it up. We're here. All the way over there. But, well, I just, if if the competition is Amir and Graham, I feel like this should, this is kind of no, easy. Nice, this. and I like the attitude no, already. Wait, look, I, listen, listen, I put my hat on and my Nikes on today, dude. Come on, let's go. It's not I don't about get a it's, mic it's, protector. It, it's not about that, no, because I, I like that he he's he's already he's not comfortable. He just you're just having peanut M and M's like this is your show. Yeah, it is. It's my fucking Here's show. What it is. I'm comfy. It's, it's I'm not chilling. even that. It's it's not about who's funnier, who's better. It's just a better like what goes better for the show. You know what yeah, I mean? I feel and even if you don't win this week. There's other opportunities. Okay. You, like you never know. Year, like, yeah, I mean, listen. You, so if you got to defend the title every week, if you get it? Well, wait, I just started this. This has started last week when I had Graham on with Amir because Amir oh, was okay. my co-host for, for – that was his fourth episode in a row. And I go, oh, I like you know making fun of him and having him on here. And then Graham's energy. I was like, you know what? I want him on now every week. Okay, and yeah. I go, sorry, Amir. And I did it on the show. And then we said going forward, whoever's on the show with the co-host has the opportunity to take that to co-host take seat. seat. Okay. So, okay. I'll fuck with that. And this is his first week sitting here. How's it feel? It's so comfortable. Yeah. I, I'm sitting here eating m and He's been wanted, trying to bail on this all night just so I you know. I want to throw you. No, 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 no. I, I didn't want to come at 1030. So that's why. What I, we do? No, he we, said let's cancel. We made a deal. We're in the he shark He told tank. me to cancel. We, no. Is that, did you really say that? I did yeah. not say we're going to cancel. Well, if you, I said I'll come at He 10. said he didn't feel like doing it tonight. Well, well, and I, I said I said, I said, I said let's I do, it do it You know what he's doing? He's playing a good game right now. No, 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 no. Because I, b- I believe him. Up, I believe subterfuge. Him. I believe in honesty. I believe Listen. in honesty too. And a, Wisco- right. a Wisconsin boy is honest. Mississippi boy is the heart of honesty. I'm from Wisconsin though. I know, but it kind of feels like you are. Yeah, I mean, it's I always, close. You like, the you like cheese curds? No, mm. I'm lactose intolerant. Well, yeah. So, dude, he drinks fucking coconut milk, almond milk. I genuinely don't soy. know if I've ever had a cheese curd. Really? I don't think so. We hate Wisconsin. We don't like Wisconsin. Where are you from again? Chicago, Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. yeah, I knew it was one of those. Yeah, fuck Wisconsin. Are you a Detroit Lions fan? Yeah. See, at least he has a team. Now I like him already. He's got a point. Yeah. Because yeah, you don't I, have a team. I, yeah, New Orleans Saints, motherfucker. Let's no, go. but you're from Mississippi, Super Bowl bro. champs, 2000. Name one person on the New Orleans Saints. Fucking. Um, what year did the championship go? 2006. 2000. No, the, the one, they won the Super Bowl in 2008. Name nine? a player on the team. Right? Name a player on the team. Drew fucking Breeze. All He's right. not on the team, bitch. He retired. All right. Uh, Reggie Bush. <laughs> Bro, he ain't, a, he ain't a fan of anything. Reggie Bush didn't even uh, his last team. He, he he's more of a dolphin than a. a he's saint. more of a lion than yeah, a saint. But I go deep cuts, you know. Deep cuts. What's that mean? I go deep cuts. Like I might. Have you ever had him on your fucking podcast? I had him on my podcast also. So this yeah. is a debate of which one of y'all gonna be on our podcast next. I don't think either of us want to be back on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm yes, you do. I'm I, literally, it was an hour and twenty minutes of just nonsense. That's that's perfect. There was no this structure. Is nonsense. That's nonsense. Yes, a little bit. You're right. I enjoyed yeah. it. I enjoyed it, it's but I, I like to make fun. fun. So you have a podcast? You were on my podcast. You're on my podcast. Yeah, but this is y'all two fighting to get back. Um, What's going on? Are you a coach? Wait, you're losing control right now. I'm not losing control. I'm yeah, calm, cool, and collected. I'm eating peanut M&M's. Exactly, exactly like right now. Wow. The it's the seat, bro. No, you guys no, can't no, no, handle it's not the call. like a mirror? Come on. It's who sits in the seat. It's the false confidence. Seat. Yeah. I'm full of confidence. Put somebody real in that seat and see what happens. My, Bro, I've never seen someone go through so many peanut M and M's that quickly. Yeah, I wanted sugar. You can, can you can attest to this. I wanted froyo before this. I wanted froyo. I said I wish, I wish there was a froyo place close. <laughs> he, I said he that. Did say Mark that. my words. I'm a Mississippi boy. True. Let me ask you something. He also tried to bail tonight. 
Yeah, what's wow, your budget? Wow, bro, that's disrespectful to bail on on literally. On a, on a literally, I, I will say, and I'm not even being mean. This is probably the biggest, biggest most successful best. part of your career so far. Is being a co-host of my podcast. <laughs> I'm I'm honored. I'm honored. I Which just is like you know, it's a shot at myself too. But it's like this is your biggest credit. You could be like, I was on Linochi's podcast twice. That's what I'm being brought up. Most people are like, I, I was on Rogan. You're like, I did Linochi's podcast I did twice. Linochi. I did the Takeover Pod twice. Yeah. Um, I feel like when you asked to do 10:30, that was you fucking with testing you? testing me, <laughs> and I and I came back with the counter offer, oh, you, which you, real. Men do. They don't take the first offer on the table. Never. We don't watch a lot back, of Shark Tank. I came back at, at 10 o'clock. I was like, hey, that's a better time. And you folded. And you said, that's perfect. Thanks for being I f- real with I me. folded? A little bit, yeah. Because I would have come at 1030. I know. I know. But then I actually didn't want. But then I was like, oh, we actually were set up and ready to go in time. Besides the distraction that we're not going to talk about. Although it's very distracting and it's very – and you get scared that to think that it's going to get picked up on the mics, but it's not. But it is annoying. I haven't even heard a bit. But of I, I, I was – the first half of the podcast is actually probably horrible because I do it by myself. And I was just like anxious and not feeling good because of what's happening. You guys, I feel better now. Like I'm excited and I'm happy. Hell yeah. I'm happy to have it. I, I like his energy. I think he's a silly guy. Yeah, I there I didn't see a trash can. I didn't see a trash can. I don't like to litter. Do you put gum behind your ear? No, that's disgusting. But it's close, right? This is the stick. I don't put the chewy part behind my ear. You put the the hard part behind like that that part's hanging off. Yeah, that's so the what is it? I just didn't see a trash can in here, bro. I don't like to have it behind my ear. Grab a cigarette. I finish it on the way in. I'll throw it on the ground if you want me to throw it on the ground. Hold on. You had a lollipop today? A dum dum. I eat dum dums. The little tiny suckers. I'll see you next week, Graham. That's a deal breaker. Yeah. Why? We got a whole bowl of them at, at our place. You got a whole bowl? I love Dum Dums, yeah. But, but not but not regular original M&M's. Sure, I think those taste good too, but these you suck on for a while. Those are gone in like 10 seconds, bro. Well, you can suck on those also. And this is less calories than that. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody fucking knows. I don't know how many calories are in a Dum Dum, but I don't think it's a lot. Wait, so let's introduce Maddie. Matt. Matt Lockwood from uh, Michigan. Yeah. Funny comic worked at the store, and now you you works actually at the store works still works at the store, yeah. and he actually lives with Joe Marisi and Graham Rogers, which I got to be honest, most people wouldn't know this, but my observation being in the comedy scene now eleven years, I would say that's the, the three most random people living together I've ever heard. Yeah, it's interesting. But sure. I would say it's three people from three different groups of friends. Yeah, I didn't meet Graham until the day he met he moved in. I Is that know. real? Yeah, but I knew you were willing. You I were that open. Parts. I and I knew. And you were, were like, "Oh, I've seen." He didn't his... follow me on Instagram until a week after he moved in. That's damn straight because that's <laughs> that's co-host moves. That's, that's what a co-host does. That's respectful. That's, that's funny. What a co-host now, what do does. you think? Now you've been in, living with each other for a month, right? Yeah. What? How? How's it? Do Do you think after a month of living with each other, are you already like? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to get closer with this guy. Like I like him more than I thought I would like him. Yeah. I mean, I didn't I thought I, you know, the expectations are are zero when you don't know somebody. But you, were you were you open to living with any person? No. Or was it no. like or did you did you and Joe like Joe he, vouched for him. But but no one else were there other t- people? Um everyone else everyone else I would mention, I would be like, "Oh, and Graham Rogers." And they'd be like, "Oh, he's a good guy." No, but I'm literally saying, was else. there any other prospects or was he? Oh, only- there's a couple. Yeah. That, oh, that we so, said you, no so there was like there was like a three. There was like three to choose from. Yeah. Um, there was a couple that were like interested and and I was quickly like, no, you said no or both of you said no. I said no to two. Joe said no to one. Graham was the first one. We agreed we're obviously on not going to say their names, but I would love to know. I'll we tell can- you after. That's always my favorite part of a podcast. But I don't even I'll know if you, you know after. them. It's like it's oh, not they're like- not co- they're not comics. Yeah. But, you know, kind of oh, open mics. Yeah. Huh. Okay. What, what would be your? Here we uh, go. This is good. This let me is ask good. you this. Wow, this is good. See, that's good. Let me. You got to admit that's good, huh? Both of you. Yeah, I guess. What's What's yeah. one red flag? Okay, say that. Uh, Man, I like oh, no, this no, a lot. Just, I don't even care what the ask. question me, is. I'm yes. excited, right, dude. Let's, let's do it. Bro, let's, let's do it. I can't believe. I wish I met you sooner. What's one red flag you can't look past if you had someone that was going to live in your apartment that you were friends with? You like? You like this guy? You vouch for him, but there's a red flag, and you're like, uh, uh-uh. uh. 
I'm sorry. Here's the thing, because it. you won't it know how clean. Well, like, my biggest thing is I'm a very clean guy. Uh-huh. So it's hard to really know that about someone unless you've been to their place where they previous live and you yeah. see it. And you're like, well, I couldn't live with this guy. But a lot of the times you don't know that because you're not at their house. You're hanging out outside of the comedy Ooh. clubs. But cl- clean, cleanliness, clean, cleanliness. Clean, cleanse, cleanliness. cleanliness would be one of my biggest things. We uh, Literally every person that has come into our apartment has commented on how clean we are. Like it's very surprising it's better, that we're clean. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty clean. Joe, Joe's had – some messy, messy places in his past, but he's gotten it. better. So was he. His last place apparently. Was oh, I heard. Oh, 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 by the way, I heard. Wow, you might not be out next week. I heard about your old place. That's disgusting, dude. That's I came from the bottom. Now I'm because Joe. Here. Joe's the cleaner. Joe vacuums and I mops. vacuum all the time. I love vacuuming. That's what I've never parts seen you vacuum. If someone's before. messy, usually all asleep. the time. You're always, usually it's I'm a depression thing. First thing in the morning, vacuuming. Wait, vacuuming is a depression. Thing? No, no, uh, a messy part. Oh yeah, for it's sure. Related, for sure, it's correlated with depression. Now, um, what was gonna say? What's one thing I could look personality wise though? If we're talking about that. With your question, yes, personality wise, um, probably someone lazy. I don't want to be around that energy. Yeah, like I, I need someone who has a little bit of ambition. Like I'm not saying that they have to work hard, like hard, but they have to have like something that they're doing. They're not just like I'm a comic, but they play video games and smoke. But like, mm-hmm. are they also at least trying to do a podcast or at least like grind? Like there, yes. there can't be like uh, I, I can't be around that energy. You, that's you get, you get trapped in that shit. Yeah, it, I, I, I've been around people. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't. Get, make influence me to be that way but it makes me uh angry when i'm in the air that i'm then i'm not happy yeah you know what yeah, i mean like yeah like so it's like that that is just like uh it, yeah it's unmotivating the, and stuff the people i said no to are people who are like outwardly sad who are yeah, like depression yeah, 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 is their yeah, personality got, yeah like, I, I, would that. That. I would never think that i would never think you were I mean, you never know who's really sad if we're going to get serious for a second. Uh, that's what's crazy is like, I mean, even sometimes when you hear about someone's suicide, you're like, what? Sometimes you hear yeah. about that. And real depression is never sometimes outwardly yeah. portrayed. The outwardly ones are kind of just seeking attention. Mm-hmm. But that's still annoying to be around. Yeah. My thing is, is like I struggle with depression. I've struck- struggled with depression my whole life. But it's like I'm actively I a- every day I actively work on. That's the number one it. thing we, we've like, talked about. You have to work at yeah. being So many happy. people are like, no, I'm, I have depression and that's my whole personality. And they're just like, fine with being sad. I Good hate luck. That shit. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to, you're not going to work. those my rainy day friends that there's always a rain cloud right over their head. Well, like, l- them l- around all right, for example, but you, you, and you don't come off as a sad guy, but I'm sure you oh, have dude, it. I, I have you pockets. Yeah. I have pockets of, of sadness for sure. My heart weeps a lot, but here's what, but here's your, but also here's your problem is you can never have a serious conversation. I'm always serious. We've had a couple, and but we does have, he still no. try to? Does he still go like a little like, hey, no, because Theo's my favorite comic. You got, I mean, no, it's, it's very clear that Theo's his favorite <laughs> yeah, comic. Yeah, yeah. But you, you can get him in these like that. We connected pretty early on because we're both spiritual, and we like connected on this spiritual shit. Yeah. And then we, I know how to talk to this guy and like get him to have a real conversation. Oh, already. I fuck with that. I, I have real conversations. I like that. But my brain, that's just how my brain talks sometimes. That's how your brain talks sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's very yeah. He's a different guy when he's not trying to be funny. Yeah, I I don't think I've ever had a real conversation with you. You have for sure. I remember you one think time so? Valentine's Day two years ago. I invited you to coffee. I was going through a breakup. Oh yeah. And I, oh fuck. And I, and I wanted to talk with you, but you oh know, yeah, we hung out. Yeah, hung I remember out that. And I I I I I took that text like, all right. I feel like he's like reaching out because he like needed he needed heart. someone. So I hung heart. out with him at a coffee yeah. shop. But yeah. you seemed fine. But you yeah. didn't. We didn't. You didn't really talk about anything. Like emotional, we were, we were just hanging out and like. Are you spiritual though? I I I believe in energy. I sure. know energy is real. Sure. I I know that's a fact, and I think that our bodies exert energy, and I think there could be some sort of uh, there there could be something else. But I don't. I'm not religious, but right. I I don't know what it is. But if energy is a real thing, and you can walk into a room and feel negative energy, and you can feel positive energy, or you can you you can just feel like when you know when like uh. Uh, when Michael Jackson died, or who was, the, or when Kobe died, you could just feel like you're walking to a coffee shop. You could feel what is that? That's mm. not a tangible thing. Yeah. But you're like, what is that? So then, what is that? So I'm like, I believe in that. So I'm believing like, what? What is that a thing? Is that is that something more than just Earth? Yeah. So that's what. But I don't know. I don't. I you, don't you're know. You're like lightly spiritual. Yeah. I just. I just do not believe in the religion. Right, I cannot right. get behind a religion. No. But I can believe that. Is could there be something else? Sure, I don't know. I just know that I've seen proof of energy. I've seen that. 
You know what I mean? Like you could, well, yes, you could, I could walk into a comedy room and you could be like, there's a different energy in here. There's a yeah, weird energy. Like yeah. there's, a, there's a weird energy. If you are even at a house party and someone walk, like it, that's a real thing. You could be like, whoa, there's like, you, you could feel when someone has a great cloud over it. Even bringing back a mirror. Okay. Like a mirror will act like he's sad sometimes, but it's different. It's not like a, a rainy cloud. It's weird. It's almost no. like you just, you want us to talk about you, yeah. but it's like, I, I'm, I'm not worried about him. I would never be thinking, oh, well, mate, let me check on a mirror and make sure he's not going to fucking kill himself. Yeah, it's more like a hurricane. You always come in, you'll probably be okay. You may have to evacuate in it's, a few days. His, his is okay. odd because I think he seems fine, really. But then he'll just be like, it's not going well. It's a character kind of. It's like a yeah, little like. I agree with you. It's, yeah. I, I think he also exerts it on purpose to, because he, he does it. He subconsciously does it on purpose, but doesn't admit it because he likes that we pick on him and talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He if that makes him. sense. Makes perfect. Yeah. Uh, I think one day going back to uh, energy, I think one day we will be able to measure uh, energy. I think energy holds mass and I believe one day we will have the instruments to, to actually uh, put a number or put a mass to. What do you energies. mean one day though? Because I, I don't know. You're, you're saying Elon's going to invent, invent something. I, our lifetime? Elon, I mean, it could be so it could be someone else that does it, but I think in our lifetime, we will. Why do you think in our lifetime, bro? That's like 30, I, 40 years. Yeah. We only have yeah. 40 years. Left. I don't think so. the I, way I, the technology is going and the way our instrumentation, our fine tuning instrumentation, uh, I, there's no question about it. I think we will be able to actively and accurately measure. Well, how, so, well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, well, we can measure like wavelengths and like sound and all that. So, and that's not, that's invisible. So mm -hmm. maybe you could, we can measure you, so matter. you're saying that's you could measure if shit. someone has negative energy versus positive energy. Yeah. But I think we'll have to redefine the term energy. Where, where are you getting, where, mass, like, also, where are you getting this? Are you just saying shit? No, I, this is what I believe. I have, I thought is about this. Is this what you believe or you've read it's, something? No, what you, you said mean? energy has tangible mass. Who, well, who said I, that? I, I, so you're I just making this up. No, I <laughs> literally, I have a journal from five years back where I came up with this. Yeah, but you're just hypothesis. making it up. Yes, of course. I'm not a scientist, so you, but, but you, I believe but that. But I'm saying you can't say out your mouth that energy has tangible mass. No, you no, can no. say, I, I think. Hope, I hope, I think. But I could, I could say that, oh, I think one day I believe that birds will be able to speak like humans. I think that one day we'll yes, be able to do that. Someday they will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to speak to us and be like, hi, Graham, how are you? I believe that that's a thing. That's basically what you're saying. Yes, yes. I think it's like, it's day, literally like me saying, I believe that one day we'll be able to make buildings fly. No, but the way that I jumped, uh, piggybacked on, on what y'all were saying about. Fine, about, fine. We'll give you the piggyback, which yes. is a good co-host. Yeah. This is a good co-host. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I piggybacked. I said something spiritual, fundamental, foundational. I brought it back. I grounded it. I like the energy. There I like go. the energy. Now, would you say, Graham, now that he lives with you, nice bullying. I like bullying. Would you say, well, first of all, before we get any further, let's get to our point. Uh, I would like each of you to say one thing nice about each other. Uh, Mark, lo first? Mark loves these bits. He got off his phone and Who started goes paying first? attention. Are you going to say something nice about us, too? No, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll see how this I was, goes. I was I, researching the energy oh, you were? Like, yeah, he knows. You yeah, know. you're not gonna find any research yeah, on it because it hasn't happened yet. But it yeah, because it's complete bullshit. <laughs> yeah, bro, you just made up <laughs> no, shit. No, no, no. And it to the Thank you. Oh, but, but Mark's smarter than he looks. Wow, you guys just got bitched. Uh, let's but. It goes back to what I was saying. We have to redefine the term energy, but I, okay. Okay. okay right. But hold on. Let's, let's get back to say something, say something nice. So you're about talking about something that's yeah. not energy then. Yeah. 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 You're talking about some other idea oh, so, so, you oh, want to call like, energy. I'm yeah. saying one day we'll measure something. Oh, well, well, one day birds will talk and we're, we're not going to call it talking anymore. It's going to exactly. be called something else, but it's not the birds we know now. Exactly. It's like yeah. molar mass. Okay. Now I would like, cause you're the, you, he has to go first. You're the co-host. So start by saying one thing nice about. Matt. All right, Matt, I am I, I think you are a such a sweetheart. And I think that behind a, a maybe sarcastic facade, you're a teddy bear that is worthy of giving and receiving love. Huh. Wait, that doesn't see Really? Yeah. Oh, Amirs are always awkward, yeah. That was cute. That was that was sweet. I really think that. Yeah. I I've really enjoyed getting to know Matt. 
Same. And I had a feeling we were gonna be friends, and we are friends. It's it's cool to have a new friend. <laughs> you're stupid, dude. What's up, dude? You're my friend. <laughs> I just like it. Wait, all right, Matt. What do you got for him? Um, damn. I was I was impressed by how um, spiritual you, you were when we started hanging out when we watched. <laughs> Interstellar and that was tight as in and of itself back to back. What do you guys smoke I, weed and I, hang out? We don't do drugs. We don't do drugs. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, 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 mom. I do drugs. He's sober. Hmm. But oh. dude, this is kava. That, this oh. is that jewel, bro. Yeah, I do kava also. I love kava. Wait, so you, you know about kava? No, <laughs> dude, come up, it's like dirt some... in a mug. <laughs> yeah, and he, he says it relaxes him or something. Yeah, it's like a great little thing that makes you feel like. Wait, can you bring that on next week? I would love to bring kava. It makes your mouth numb. Yeah, it's great. Well, those are the active alkaloids, calvicones. Uh, uh, Aqua? It's, it's the nat- oh. it's the national drink of Fiji. It's a great. It grows only. In, it's a root. It grows in volcanic ash. Tell me, you used it, to be addicted to drugs without being without telling me you used to be addicted. Well, to Well, I drugs. love psychopharmacology. That's why I'm very interested in. Yeah, I mean, does this guy make up words all the time? No, I have These a very real words. I, I have a very complex. Is he on the spec? Is he on the spectrum? No, 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 no. no but he acts like it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. For I just, sure. What I I don't act like anything. I just act like me. Yeah. You know, and that 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 <laughs> spectrum, then maybe. I think a little bit. I mean, I went to speech therapy as a kid, and I tried to steal the uh, Werther's originals out of the our, uh, bowl. Our whole apartment is on the verge of autism. Yeah. Well, three, you're the most normal one of the three. Yeah. Matt, you're the most normal one of the three. I mean, that's easy. I think yeah. Matt's I would most say that's normal. nice of you, but obviously. And then Joe, With Joe Joe's, and Joe's the furthest. Yeah. For yeah. Joe, Joe's for sure. And, yeah. and they, one time he got mad on the podcast. He was like, I just don't think you get my jokes sometimes. I'm like, I think most people don't. <laughs> and I think that's what that means. <laughs> no. Have you? Has he tried to be the co-host yet? I, I, he lost every time. Yeah, I've what? had him on twice, but he's just never gonna be. He's just yeah. I can't. His energy's not co-host. Yeah. So he's just more like I need it. He can bounce. He off got people. his own pod now. Mm-hmm. Good. I don't know what it's called. It will probably be after the after the after they cut it. It will be seven minutes long. You know what's funny? Okay, so <laughs> he's got seven minutes in between every word. He's yeah. like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but nobody's asking him questions. So, I told him to do a Joe Eats and just talk about what he's eating. I think that's what he's doing. Oh, cool. So he took my idea. Yeah. I was actually going to produce his podcast for him before that he got that opportunity. I was like, I'll come shoot it at your house. I'll bring the mic and then we'll put it up. It only has to be like 20, 30 minutes, but just p- start putting out. Yeah. Put shit out. Yeah. Go. Um, the day before his pitch, John came over and was like, hey, what do you want to like? Like, give me your pitch. Give me like three sentences. JT. To, to, JT to sum up what it is. He's like, I don't know. It's just thinking. We're like, dude, you gotta. You're going to all things comedy. You gotta like have some kind of, yeah, you know, concertive message. He's like, I don't know. It's just me thinking. John's like, dude, it's not gonna work, buddy. <laughs> but I'll, I, I'll, I will say this: Joe comes off great on camera. When like, what did you study his videos? No, because he did my podcast and yeah. it was an awkward interview a little bit. But looking back, it's hilarious. Wait it's now, really yeah, I I agree. Listen, I. I try to pitch Joe a few times and it's like, it's not for everyone, I guess sometimes, but like, I, I agree. I mean, I, I, he's one of my best friends. I've known him for, so I, I know why he's funny, mm-hmm. but if you don't know him, you might, might not you, get it. You like have to be in on the joke. To yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. once you are, it's incredible. It's, yeah. yeah. I, I, it's, it's like, so a, it's, I, I think it's a little Brody Stevens esque. <laughs> sure. Yeah. So yeah. When, you know, when he's on stage and that's why half of the audience is like, and then some people get it. So it's going to yeah. take a long time for yeah. him. Mm-hmm. When he does well, he does really well. Yes. It's like fun to watch. Yeah. Like he would, when we were doing mics 10 years ago, he was a comics comic. Like comics didn't listen to me, but they laugh, laughed at him. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, they like him. And, um, did he always have the same kind of demeanor? I think he changed, it evolved. I think, uh, uh, he used to be a little bit quicker at talking. He's definitely slow. He's definitely banged his head a few times throughout the years. Yeah. Probably playing softball. A little bit. Yeah. We're on the softball team. I, oh, I play there too. Yeah. You're on that team too? Yeah. Five for five. I won five for five last week. Damn. Nice. There's a yeah. practice game though, right? Yeah, but still, I so I played like it was a real game. Or? I, for all this is this is all I got. Yeah, this is the last thing I have at competing. Like I realized I joined this league and I go, this is it. This you don't is- play basketball? No. You don't want to get injured? Yeah, but Fair. I also I would play, but like I just never been really asked like this before. And I was like, oh. yeah, I'll play this, and this is my last time really going hard at it. What were we talking about? Is your last season? No, like. I'll keep doing this, oh. but like this is my last shot at like competing, and I'm I'm into it. Like yeah. I'm trying to win stuff. Yeah, Would y'all ever get into like a amateur golf tournament, something fun like that? Here's um, my thing about golf. Golfing is just like with the bros, yep. we're drinking yep. and having fun. I by the, by by don't even keep score. by fucking hole twelve or thirteen. I stop keeping score and I'm drunk. 
I can't play 18. But what if it's just a hang. It's but, a good hangout with exercise and shit. What if there is a, a purse, a prize, you know? I would try, but I don't think I'm going to win. I mean, if I play 18 holes, I might par one. That's where I'm at. Gotcha. I might be able to par one, but I, I might be able to bogey, but I'm playing where you can't yeah. double the hole. Like, yeah. oh, you get a, uh, you get an eight on a four. Like, I'm yeah. one of those. But, I, but there's sometimes I got great shots. Yeah. Like I said, there could be a chance I par one or two holes. And you're like, well, you have it. I'm like, yeah, if I played this four times a month yeah. and had the money, that's an expensive. It's an expensive uh, golf game. A game to yeah. do. But like, if I play, but I play golf, maybe what? This is, uh, I played golf. I didn't play for like nine years. And now I've played like five times the last four months, which that is a lot. That was the only game I played. The two sports I played in high school were golf and tennis. In the second year, uh, golf, I didn't make the team. You look like a golf they, and tennis they, guy. They, they had to let Good me posture. off. They first started a B team, and then they're like, we don't have the funding, and then they just cut me all together. They were going to start a B team just for my sake to get on the golf team, and then they just cut it all together. And then I, didn't, and then I did cross country, and I came in dead last in a tri-county meet. Out of like two hundred kids, tennis and cross country. Yeah, but in cross country, what we would do is can I do can I do something for you? Please, yeah. I liked your story, but hold on. What is this? Let's go, buddy. This is you. Oh, oh shit! Here we go. All right. Back in the day when I was running cross country, smoking cigs in the hay. Don't stop fire fires, yeah. I'm like Mrs. Y, Mrs. Smith, come and get me, bitch. I'm a running, running, running. Can you do the hickey splits? Yeah. Mississippi boy came dead last. Oh, Mississippi boy passed that gas. Oh, all right, that's all I got. I just like watching Matty go. You know, Matt I go, know it's. I'm done. Cringes. I love it. it. Is hickey splits a real thing? Is that what you're looking up? Yeah. You're looking up if Hickety Splits is a real thing? That's rapper's name, Hickety Splits. You can't rap, right? Hickety Splits? <laughs> no. A, no, me neither. No. Can I, you, but you have a voice. Yeah. I like you a do? beautiful yeah, voice. Yeah. Can I hear acapella? Like a no. songbird. Could you give me like a little like, oh, uh, let me hear it go, la, 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 la. I mean, nah. It's not co-host energy. So. Yeah, I'd do it if I was a co-host. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it what? as a guest. Graham Rogers. So where you got that from? I just made it up, literally. I've, no, I've never even heard lickety, lickety split. If there's one thing you could change about the podcast, what would it be? This podcast? Yeah. I like it wearing headphones. You like wearing headphones? Yeah. I love wearing headphones. Mm. That's the one thing I would... Well, yours, you have to wear headphones because you're fucking playing different music the whole time. <laughs> but that's dope, though. Yeah. It's a soundtrack to the it podcast. It is. I want to listen to it. I want to see what it's like listening to it. Like, if I'm at the gym and being like, I, I just want to say... When does it come out? Uh, it's going to come out. I have, like, two episodes behind, so it'll be out in two weeks. And, so then, you, and I'm going to clip out a bunch of funny you stuff. Put out, uh, you put when out... When does mine come out? Yours comes out next week, dude. We're working on it right so now. So do you, you, do you put out a podcast every week? Yes, we do. Yeah, every week. So I'm just learning how to clip. I'm just cl making clips now. And yeah, then Gerard animates it. So we'll, you all have animations. I'm learning also how to animate, right? Um, so you want headphones? Yeah, or my other thing would be like less creaky stairs, but we're not well, just talking. Well, this about is like, this, so. yeah, I mean, that's, this <laughs> never, this never <laughs> happens. It's this is a one-time thing, but yeah. It's just like a touch distracting. But yeah. No, trust me. It's frustrating. I, you know, I almost I'm, was able not to think about I'm it. I'm having such a fun time. Yeah. And I'm, just, and I'm just loving these this fellowship. I'm not even noticing the creaky stairs. Yeah. It's okay. You know? I'm just enjoying being out of the house. I know how you can. Wait, what about... What about you? If you could change something about the podcast, what would you want to do? I love headphones. That's, that was really yeah. I just feel mm -hmm. so you know. I I actually I actually like not having headphones. What and if I, you watch the pros, they don't have headphones because you don't need them. What pros? All of the pros podcasts. The biggest podcast no. in the world uses headphones. No, he doesn't. Uses headphones. No, he doesn't. Oh, he used to. He still not does. anymore. No, he doesn't. Used to. No I, one does. I'm Tom Tom doesn't. None of them do. But it sounds it sounds better. It, it sounds, sounds better, nice. but it's like, but it also like it looks better for it does because you know why when you, it, when it sounds better changed. when you're on a podcast. But now every podcast is trying to push video, so that's why it's better to not have it. That's why you should do live mics then. We were doing that for a while; they're too sensitive, uh, and that, it was echoing in here. It picked, uh, up, picked up everything, so it was like the, my my first. So this is episode sixty five. 
So we started at 50. So this is the 15th episode of, of this room. Yeah. So the first 10 maybe were with Love, and it was just like, I'm echoing. I'm picking up on uh, your mics. Yeah, the sound sucks. quality was awful. Ooh. And, you know, not to be too mean, but it is loud. You're a sound guy? No. You're like, you're like so handsome and buff and shit, and you... you I didn't know I, you I feel like you shouldn't be... I feel I like you shouldn't be behind behind the camera. I, I like always make fun of him. He doesn't have a camera face. I think he does, though. Look at me. Move your hand. Oh, yeah, maybe not. Do you think that... <laughs> you're so handsome, though, but I don't... Do you yeah, think that's a cool flyer? Mike might be right. I, yeah, I've seen that photo a lot. That's a... Do you think that's a cool flyer? I made it. It's a lot of dates. Yeah. Is that green font? Yeah. Okay. That guy gets on every show, huh? Yeah. I, but I made his fucking, I made his flyer. I could do anything. How many months of, of shows is that? That's, uh. Through what? Two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Craig's no, a monster. No, made October. Okay, yeah. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you once you set up dates, yeah. But I was just like showing that, like, I, I could do it all. I can, nice. I can make Instagram clips. I can make flyers. What uh, software do you use to make the clips? Who do you work for, bro? Why are you asking so many questions? Dude, I work for Elon. Let's go. You want to do my clips for my pod? Maybe. You want to know something crazy? Yeah, if it clips? depends on my... The guy I do my podcast with got hit by a car yesterday. Yeah, I mean, dude, this is good yeah. co-host energy. Isn't Why didn't crazy? you bring this up immediately? Is he dead? Um, no, he's in the hospital right now. Uh, broke his leg in three places. Why he's did walking he get... across the street, got smoked, but it was just a Prius. So what he's, they, did he's okay. The, he jaywalked or what? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Why legally, is that legally, I don't know, but yeah. But he was jaywalking, so that it wasn't the Prius's fault. Did the Prius break? No. So he, he was like waiting for car. There's no crosswalk where he was, which I think means jaywalking. Yeah. But all the cars coming this way stopped. And so he started going and he looked this way. He didn't see nothing. And then woke up he on the ground. He didn't find out that you're supposed to look both ways and then look yeah, the third way. Just looking to his left the whole time. And mm. he's just like, looks good. Happy as, fucking rocked. Ha- happy as can be. 4.30 in the morning. What? Why? True. Yeah. Wait, but was he a, a comic? Had, like, no. Silent killers. No, he's a waitress. So you started a podcast. Yeah. How yeah. long? You've had one for a while. You ha- you've had one for a while with who? This guy, Morgan. And he hosts with you. Yeah. Let me. So there's two of you on it, and then you do video or just audio right now? We do video, yeah. It's on you, it's on YouTube. Yeah. What's the podcast called? The Big Humble. The Big Humble. Yeah. The on Big y- Humble on YouTube and all the podcast shit. Can I? It's fun. We have some. We have a good time. As a co-host, can I step in and be co-host and just do two jobs? Can I? Can no, I? Uh, no. Can you, you fire me? Yeah. You can't, interest? Yeah. You can't right. do that. You want I, to be I, I, I'm like I I'm, I'm like no. the haha. You can't. You can't. No. Yeah, yeah. You can only do haha. No, he's black too. Your co-host, which might be why he got he hit. Got hit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. You never know these. Days. You did say it though. Mm. You said it the same With time. I said it. Uh, what's the worst that happens? They I'm get a cool. thumbs down. Yeah, I like having him on because then you know you can say racist shit and kind of get away with it. That's true. Ooh, Smart. When, you, when it's four it. white guys in a room, you got to be You're careful. Right. But yes. if you get a little diversity in there, you can kind of. You know what's kind of crazy? Do the lickety splits. They could do the lickety splits up in that big splits. So that's about, and what do you guys talk about in the podcast? So that's a that's the thing I the about our apartment that is kind of silly is um I my friend group is very diverse and I'm not used to hanging out with exclusively white people. And so when the three of us go out, it's pretty funny. Why is it because we're, we're three different types of white. We are, yeah. Joe's that Italian kind of white. You are the, you know, Michigan eight mile hoodie with a hat on and i'm the mississippi charmer you know and you never know what's gonna happen when the three of us do you still have a girlfriend i do yes dude. still it's brand new still brand new well he was telling us about it last week and he was like i said i love you right away while not right away it it was a month and a half in he kept he kept trying to talk himself out of it yeah i'm glad yeah i because i'm i'm very very bad yeah Yeah, oh for sure you have intimacy issues no 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 because you're because of the dad thing no 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 not at all i i just I have always you don't liked get locked being down. the single fun guy. Yeah, and everybody makes, always it, knew you were like this guy's play. He's playing around. You have a big dick. Uh, no, but I have a. I, I it, it's that it's, is when I when I was telling people Graham was moving in, a couple of people were like, he's a bit of a womanizer. Really, really. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'm a womanizer. In this day and age, that's scary I, to be I labeled. I like that. the company of women though. But I'm not a womanizer. I've been like, I don't, I don't like. You like to. Creep if you're on only women. hanging out with girls all the time, bro, that's that's kind of a womanizer. Well, listen, really it's fine. With, you like to. I, you I, like you like different partners. Honestly, no, I don't hook up with a bunch of random girls either. I don't know. I I like. Do you like I to make? Do you make? Do you make love like or have sex? Like, do you fuck? Like uh, womanizer uh, behavior though, mm-hmm. having a lot of girlfriends. 
Yeah, but not even trying to fuck them, dude. No, it's not. I mean, I if they want to fuck them, it's not women. It depends how you treat them. Yeah, I treat them well. I have really wonderful uh, woman friends that. Woman friend, are, women. Yeah. Fr- you don't have women friends. You mean women that are you sleep with? I have platonic w- friends that are women. But you that no, are, well, listen. That, no guy has platonic friends that are females because yes, if they were like, so. you want to sleep with me, you'd no, be like, yes. No, 100%, no, you're 100%. lying. I used to think that, but now I don't. Okay, I, I have true. Then you're platonic. hanging out with fucking. I have truly See, platonic. Here's the thing: you can have, you can pr- you can say they're platonic, but if you are in a situation where they want to have sex with you, you I would wouldn't. probably have sex with them. No, yeah. no, no, I wouldn't. Who's okay. one that you yeah. wouldn't? I have multiple girlfriends that I wouldn't. Who? Just because of name how one. Good her f- Show yeah. me a picture. Because how, how good their friendship is. If they were like, "As my friend, will you sleep with me?" No, mm, I don't believe no, you. No, absolutely. I not. don't believe you either. I got two that I, I wouldn't sleep with. I think that's that's like kind of archaic thinking that you can't have truly platonic. Oh, sorry, friends. this guy's woke over here. You yeah. might I'm have just lost your call. I'm shit. just saying, if I've heard the argument, I disagree with it. I used to think that. I used to think there was no such thing as. Are you truly picking platonic. up my chewing? No. What were you looking at? The Twitch. Oh, how much? How many people are watching on Twitch? Zero. Zero? It's Damn. the first podcast live on Twitch. Oh, uh, first one. Yeah, yeah, but whatever. Yeah. I'll I'll start. What's funny is I I, I should have had the link TikTok. so I could tw- tweet it out. How many TikTok followers you got? Yeah. Dude, why don't you go Instagram Netflix. live? Because you have a bunch of Instagram followers. That way, yeah. so some people f- tune in. And then you can save the video and you have it all. Well, because Instagram, ha- you would need my phone and it's not good quality. I went on Instagram live with Ari and we were in his hot tub. And some girl hit me up, and she's hot as hell. We've been talking. Womanizer. Really? Yeah. Have you have you ever been in love? Um. That was deep. I I mean I I think so, but it was like high school, so it's hard to tell. You're still young, right? Thirty. So no. Thirty's young. And how old are you? Thirty three. Thirty's not young, bro. Thirty's like the begin the young for being old. I'm thirty seven next month. Damn. Wow. Are you in love right now? Yeah. That's tight. Hell yeah. Like um. That. All right. So we'll do restaurant reviews real quick, and then we'll do the Patreon. Do you guys want to hear some re- restaurant? Do you announce who wins before we leave? Yeah. Okay. Well, what are we at time wise? We're at eighteen. How long have we been here? I'll save restaurant reviews for next week because it's like I'll do that up top. Get one in. Get one in? Yeah. All right. So like you know about the restaurant reviews. Yeah. Okay. So Let's there's see. a restaurant. I'm not gonna say the restaurant. But it's a French restaurant. Okay. It's a cafe. It's a, a French cafe. You can figure it out, but I'm not going to say the name. Can but I, I love it. What? Can I guess? No, 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 no because I don't want to put it out. Oh, okay. I don't want people to actually go on there and put more bad reviews. Okay. But it's a five, four-star restaurant, so it still does well. But I went there, and it's owned by these two French people, and they're fucking extremely rude to people. They don't give a shit, but yeah. that's that's usually French people's nature. All right? And they fucking just like – they were like even my inter- interactions with them, I was like – we gotta look up at the. We gotta look at these reviews, and I'm fascinated with the reviews because there's like an infinite amount of reviews like this. And I read some last week, and I just want to keep going to this restaurant to actually witness something. I like. I think it's comedic. Here's an example of some of the restaurant reviews. This is the owner. They're all about the owner. Yeah, there's a French lady. She refused to take our drink order because she didn't want to have to come back twice. I'm sorry, but isn't this a restaurant? After a few more uncom- uncomfortable and rude exchanges, she decided to just leave. On the way, we decided to just leave. On the way out, however, the old host yelled at us and said, "You were trouble to begin with, and don't come back." And the old host is her husband. Yeah. Here's another one. When we kindly asked how long it would be, it, it will be. We were told with an attitude, "If you can't wait, you can leave." That's a good policy. Here's another review. Terrible. The owners are extremely rude. The old man who is supposedly the owner was cussing everyone out. They were verbally abusive and have no idea how to treat customers. When we were confronted, when we confronted him about his rude tone, he said, and I quote, get the fuck out if you don't like the way I run my business. I like it. I, I love places like I that. Me too. These people coming in are probably bitches. So there's more. Is it Weho? Maybe. Or like uh, a WeHo like area? Beverly Hills, People I want to say. Money? Beverly Hills. Okay. Yeah. La Pia, Either, I mean, Bravo. listen, I've said enough to where if someone was listening, you could find it. Sure. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to be someone who's going to like blow it up. Listen, I've done a clip of, but yeah, people get sensitive about restaurants. I'm supporting the restaurant. I'm going back there and eating, but I do want you, if you have restaurant reviews that are hilarious, I want you to DM the takeover pod and send them in and we'll read them. I like doing that. It's fun, whatever. And maybe I'll go eat at, if it's an LA restaurant, I'll go try it out and then I'll tell you my review. I'll do a little barstool sports So you want to go to restaurants with bad reviews? Yeah. 
That's a cool idea. I think that's a but cool not, idea. Uh, and, my co- and, my, and my co-host can come with me. And we'll try it out. Yes. Why are you pointing to him? Bad service reviews? <laughs> yeah. Because you already know what the answer is. I do? Yeah. Damn. You know real? what? Yeah. Well, See you next, here's the deal. Why? See you next Sunday. <sighs> I, I like that like, he came in with like this outfit, which was different than I expected. That was part of it. Oh, you like a guy that wears sweatpants to a fucking show? I didn't think about it like that. Under right. Armour sweatpants? You're right. You're right. Um, yeah, bro. Yeah. What's up? Nike socks. I'm comfy, dog. You tried to I'm bail chilling. on the podcast twice tonight. I'm chilling, dude. I showed up. I did my job as a co-host. But I get I'm it. Comfy. I get Here's it. my thing. is I'm, I don't, You want to be the funniest guy on your pod. I get it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Man, that was good. Maybe that I was, should have him on there. That was a good dig. Yeah. You know what, though? No. He'll get another opportunity. But I just knew that I was like, well, <sighs> you know why? Because I feel like you could lead your own. Like, you don't need me. Graham needs me. Own. Graham needs me. Yeah, he does. You he know what sure I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, I just like talking. Take it's him fine. under your wing. Take care of him. Pop a bird. Baby bird. Pop a bird. Pop a bird. Baby bird. You can kind of feed this me. This is an eight mile? No. What's He's pop a bird, life. baby bird? I don't know. You said take You said take him under his wing, and I was thinking pop. Yeah, like you know how the bird, uh, mama bird feeds baby bird, and they chew up the food and spit it in the mouth? <laughs> have you ever seen a <laughs> what was that right there what did you get you get a little uh, huh was that you took a sigh right there yeah because you know what i'm talking about i don't know i'm i'm a pretty uh, overall smart dumb guy yeah you've never seen how mama bird feeds baby birds yeah i've seen how birds feed their young their their calves you consider yourself a smart dumb guy yeah same what's the smartest you too yeah what's the smartest thing you know because there's some dumb smart people you know what i mean i mean the smartest thing i do is build my set uh, that's smart. S- comedically. Oh, I thought you were talking, about, you're this. talking about this. <laughs> yeah. Stand uh, up. I'm like very organized about how I do my What stand-up. is that? Like a heater? Old heater or something? No, no. Hey, hey, hey. If it's off camera, we don't bring it up. People have to assume that there's like we have an ocean view. Yeah. There's that, a, oh, we're looking at the fucking the clips, Santa Monica Pier. The clips really look good. Is that yeah. real? For what? Yeah. For what this room is. <laughs> I thought this was in your apartment or something. Oh, really? Yeah. It no, looks, I, I do. Really I do nice. think the clips look good. Yeah, the clips look good. But I think you know, it's you never know. Uh, he's just kidding, guys. Hey, it's fucking. It's a nice building. We're looking over the beach. This All is right. One Century Boulevard. No, we're off of Melrose. Yep, it's right behind Melrose. Flashback, which they do an open mic here Ooh. every week. Sign ups at fives. Five. Just, just, When's the last time you did an open mic? Uh. Well, hold on. How about this? Hold this. Before, because we're gonna get we're, second, dude. we're gonna, gonna get into second. comedy talk for the Patreon, okay? Oh, right. So let's uh, thank our guests. What's your podcast? Shout the them big out. humble, the big humble. Yeah, on YouTube and, and what's yours? Because I big just did yours. YouTube yeah, shit. mine is uh, the great mistake. The great mistake. Make sure you guys check them out. Thank you guys. Five star reviews. Keep telling people. Oh, Twitch now. I'll tweet out the the link before the episode starts next Sunday because we're doing Sunday night for the next two weeks, and then we'll go back to Monday afternoons after that. Bye, guys.